playing and recording the U, uh, the mix directly or to this USB stick is very simple. That's a two USB port in the front. So one we use one for the Wi-Fi. If we do not want that, then just remove the. But we keep that for the Wi-Fi. Plug in our MP3 files or WAVs files uh, from the USB. Just plug it in. The system screen will show is now detecting the USB, and we're scanning the USB. After that, if we want to check what kind of song inside this USB stick, that's a play and push button. Tap twice will give us a quick access to the USB menu. So just tap twice. The system will now go directly to the USB menu. From this menu, the list here, there's a folder and the song. If we have another, we, if our song is on another folder, then just tap the folder to open the folder if there is a song there. If not, then just press it back button, go back to the list. This section allows us to send the signal, the US, the song that what we're playing, we send to which output. We can send to group one or we can turn it off or turn it off or send it to group two or group four. Then play. If you want to play the song, just tap the song. They start playing. If we are recording, of course, just tap the record button. If you want to solo the music, tap the solo. Then we can start listening the USB song directly from the headphone using this headphone jack. The fader here is the master fader for this USB. There's a USB and the DG button here. The DG button is actually the expansion card. If we are using the expansion card, then we can select DG. So this allows us to play back the song directly from our laptop or PC or record the mix directly to the laptop or PC using any digital audio workstation or DAW software. That's how simple on this uh, USB playback. Uh, that's the system is fine if you just pl unplug the USB key while it's playing. The system is all fine, not a problem. All the protection is there, so it will not damage the whole system. So it's fine to to unplug or plug it in any times.